A Boy at War by Harry Mazur. Chapter 4. Hey, snowman! Davy Morey, the kid with the sleepy eyes and the sticky brain, was calling at him. They had a couple of classes together, and whenever Davy saw him, it was Hey, Snowman. Adam couldn't figure the kid out. Maybe he wanted to be friends, but all they talked about was snow. He was at it again. How cold is snow, he asked. If you hold snow in your hand, how long does it take before it melts? How high does it pile up? Adam held his hand over his head as high as he could reach. Baloney, hey old boy. Believe it or don't, I don't care. Would you believe ten feet of snow? So how do you get out of your house? Climb out the upstairs window. You are a straight-faced hail liar. Davy walked away. Later that day, Adam saw Davy again. Well, he didn't see him till Davy smashed him into him into the hall. Out of my way, hey old boy. And he was gone. Hit and run. It was the Hawaiian way of being friendly, Adam yelled after, after him. Davy came right back and challenged him to a punching contest. Adam was bigger than Davy and heavier. Not a good idea, Adam said. Afraid to take a punch, Davy said and punched him. No warning, nothing. Punched him hard. Adam rubbed his shoulder. You are a real jerk. Not correct behavior. You were never supposed to let on that you'd been hurt, but he didn't care. He started to walk away, but Davy got in his way and offered a shoulder. Hit me, he said. It's your turn. Hit me as hard as you can. Adam's father always said what made a throw a throw and a punch a punch was follow through. Punch like you're going to put the other guy through the wall. Adam punched Davy, gave it all he had, a really solid punch. It took Davy a moment to get his breath. Then he shrugged. I've been hit harder by a marshmallow. After that, they had a kind of friendship, if you could call it that. Whenever they met, they exchanged insults and pounded each other. Then, at a general assembly early in December, Adam got a big surprise. It was a Friday, the last day of school that week, and there was Davy up on the stage reading his winning essay in the American Legion, I'm Proud to Be an American Contest. He stood in front of the whole school and read in a voice that carried to the last row of the auditorium where Adam was sitting. A man from the American Legion who stood ramrod straight presented Davy with a $10 check. Adam tried to be unimpressed, but he had to admit that standing up there was not something that he could see himself doing. And besides, Davy's essay really was good. Later that afternoon in biology lab, where they were teamed up to do frog dissections, Adam congratulated Davy, sort of. That's some voice you've got, he said. Have you thought about a career calling in pigs? Davy swung. Adam ducked, and then they ended up horsing around till the teacher got fed up and put them on opposite ends of the room.